what that name mean? What what what's the explanation for that? Basically, cloth is a it's a family unit. You know, we're tight knit. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we uh we represent each other. We're all stitched from the same fabric, like your old grandmother's quilt. You know, with the with the calluses on her hand from way back in the day, knitting seam by seam. That's us right here. We can't be divided. One of us fall, we all fall. We all rise together. We stay warm. It's like a coat, a blanket, real nice. That's right, tight knit, tight knit. Remember that. So the the three members of the group, who who are each of y'all? Each person introduce yourself to the others. I'm Ahmad Hayes. I'm Clutch Thompson. Clutch for sure. T Y. I mean. Tell me, tell me some of your influences, man. Who who influenced Cloth to, to make y'all come about with this particular song? Well, me personally, it, it I like that murder music, but that's not what influences me. What influences me is everyday struggle and drive into doing something provided for my family. So I like Mob Deep. If I want to say I, I like a group, that's who I'm feeling right now doing it. It, they may be cliche to be doing a lot of gun violence and stuff like that, but they've been doing that since day one, so they keep it real to me. More or less. Um, I like artists such as Tupac, Shakur, of course, the poet. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like Nas. You know what I mean? I like Killer Priest. Killer Priest, you know, all about that uh, Oh yeah. religious rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about that goodness, that God heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, more so with me, it's pretty much on the same genre. Nas, Mob D, um, yes, yes, Gangstar, Rakim, the list goes on and on. But those are some of the tops. Yeah, the other day I just went and copped that uh, that Gangstar, like a decade worth of hits, and you know they got the two. Right. Gangstar's hot. Yeah, but guess what? I bought it on tape, my nigga. I bought it on right. tape because, you know, um, CDs it's like cool or whatever, but they scratch too easy and they cost too much, right. and somebody. Right, right. And some of these cats ain't really got enough, you know, good material on their music for nobody to be shitting up spending, you know, 20 bucks on a, a song and a half or whatever. <laughs> what do y'all do, do to make to make y'all, you make uh, just about everything y'all do hot? What do y'all do to make everything y'all do hot? Just be ourselves, man. I mean, like, really, it's like a formula. You got to have your, you got to be true to yourself. If you're true, then it'll come out like that. If you, if you follow when others trying to be like what you're not, you know what I mean? You're trying to spit violence. If that ain't true, that ain't true. If you're trying to spit poetry, if that ain't true, that ain't true. Just be honest with your heart, and then everything will just gel together. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It's 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 easy. You know, it's easy. Where did, where did uh, you guys come from? Where where, where y'all from? What state y'all from? We represent West Coast, Cali. Born Cali. in the East, raised in the, raised in the West. You know what I'm saying? For myself. Born right here in L.A. Stay in L.A. For myself. What's what's the difference in uh, the individuals you named earlier? Because I pretty much only heard when I, we saw my influences. I think I pretty much only heard like one individual say, like a West Coast rapper, even though he wasn't really from out here. He was from somewhere else and moved somewhere else, and then eventually came out here. You understand what I'm saying? And um, of, of course, you know, get gangster rap influenced a lot of the other states or whatever. You know, because yeah. I mean. You know, I hear each individual, wherever they're from, you know, north, south, whatever, a lot of people talk about money and guns and violence and stuff in their records, but it's different in the way California do it, and it's different in the way East Coast and, and, and Mob Deep do it, you know what I'm saying? And it's different in the way Cloth do it, too, because I heard, like, some type of elements or something like that in y'all material also, you know what I'm saying? When you do that, you, you're not setting out to make gangster music. You're just setting out to do what? It's natural, basically. We, we, we're doing what, what where we come from. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's West Coast or East Coast. If, if if you come from violence, you see violence, that's how you're going to live. Well, that's what you're going to talk about. You know what I mean? I bet, you're trying, to just, I bet you're trying to just take minds and um take 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 the negative of the violence, put it in a positive form. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not directly saying, yo, I'll shoot you, blast you, whatever, whatever. But I'm saying I, I done seen it done. I done lived through it or whatever, you know, and whatnot. And I just try to keep it positive for the kids because... They're the ones really that buy the music, and they're the ones that we influence them. And no, in no disrespect to anybody on the West Coast, because I love, I'm from the West. I grew up on NWA, DJ Quake, you know what I'm saying, yeah. CMW, all, all of them rappers. That's all I love, because they helped they help raise me. But now what I'm doing is taking their influence, or they're raising me, and I'm trying to show them where they somewhere kind of straight off, and I'm trying to put the kids on 
to how they can blend it and make it all one love, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, I'll go with that too myself. Cloth, man, you know, it's just originality uh, in our format, in the way we walk, we talk, in the way the music's laid down, you know, it shows all that. We try to just put real, real life into our music, 100%, so that the round block, everyday person can just hear hear us and understand what we're saying. We give it to them. Ty, what, what different do cloth do to, you know, make make this sound so unique as as, as unique as it is. What what is what are the elements that y'all have that separate y'all from the rest of the rappers out on the West Coast? I think speaking for the whole camp, um, what separates us from everyone else is that um, you know we have we have the the street element for for the people. We have the positive coming from the street, like that neighbor that you can go across the hall to and ask for some sugar and oh, yeah. you know she hooks it up like just because it's love like it's not like I know you're down and out and you could use the help so I'm just giving this just on that it, I don't need you to owe me back or pay me tomorrow it's just love and everybody's trying to live but cloth is trying to bring the positive aspect out of life whether street or otherwise yeah. yes yes so you Ex explain the the there's two songs that y'all just did to me now the concepts for those particular joints i mean lyrics aside if you was to break down break down what those songs meant in conversation when speaking to someone what would you say those songs said well i, I would say they said what like what troop is like um like like um, you know i come with the lyrics of more or less saying what what people have and what they don't have and what they want so it's, it's more or less tied in by saying, yeah, man, I feel him what he said right there on that particular bar. I feel how he said, yo, the struggle's crazy, man, because we ain't got no money. Then I feel him, yeah, man, we, we, we pop bottles just because of whatever the reason is. You know what I'm saying? And as far as, like, the other push rock, it's, it's more or less just a, just a hip-hop metaphor for y'all to understand and say, yo, I mean, listen closely. You can see the different wordplay and how we use certain words to make all elements come together. It makes just, just some hot joints, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Right, the, the first one, Ease, if you listen to the sample, it's, uh, um, it's a singer saying that she's that she sings for a, a crowd of people, but right now, she, at the end of the sample, she says that she's singing for just you, just that one person. So basically, my verse and Isaac's verse is basically we, we're singing to uh, the people that you know are listening to us right, as a, a one, not, it's on not a personal one line. at a time. For sure, for certain. Y'all gonna do a couple of more joints, right? Definitely. Yeah. Got a couple more for you. Okay, we got a commercial. We'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. One, two. For millions of years, they ruled the earth. And then they vanished. What really caused the dinosaurs to become extinct? Was it a giant asteroid crashing to Earth? Was it massive volcanoes erupting around the world? Was it a sudden change in climate? Or was it that they just weren't financially prepared to live out their later years? How can you avoid the dinosaur's fate? by making U.S. savings bonds part of your retirement savings program. Ask your banker or employer. U.S. savings bonds, the safe and easy way to make sure you're financially prepared for your later years. Here they are once more with the third member of the group, Cloth. Yeah. This one's for the West Coast heads. That's right. California West Coast. love. You That's know what right. I'm saying? West Coast, we love you. What up to all the love out there from Cali? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Where I stay. You know where I stay. Where the sun's shining. It rarely ever rains. rains. Where I stay. You can get fucked up, heated up in wood. Where I stay. You know where I stay. Where the sun's shining. It rarely ever rains. Where I stay. Where I stay, you can get hit up, lit up, and zipped up. Yeah. Where I stay, where the boys get fucked while rowdy. Play hard in the dirt, move work all around me. In the tank t shirt, where the fuck pound beat. You can get murked, so sad, sorry, sorry for ya. ya. But 